Shalom, everybody, and welcome to Rega Beivrit. My name is Rabbi Dr. Itzhak Shapira. I hope you enjoyed this year, Shorashim season. We are going with the Heaven Ezra, with the Orachaim, and with Nachmanides, the Ramban, all through the book of Bereshit. What a joy it is for us. And on this week, parasha, we are learning about the birth of Yaakov, our father. This birth, although it occurred with the birth of Esav, is quite different from the birth of Esav, as we're going to learn today. It says in the Torah, Vaitrotsetsu habanim bekirba. And the children struggled in her. Talking about uh, Rivka, our mother. It's interesting because the word Veitrotsetsu, related to Hebrew word Retsitsa, the shattering, also related to the word Rats, to run, to explain the conflict that not just took at the womb, but is a conflict for all generation for the days to come. What a, what a shock for us this is. Now, it is amazing for me in the Torah, they see that although, according to Rashi, they were uh, b- being born together, Rashi gave us two different explanations for the name of Yaakov, why he was called Yaakov. And it's important to pay attention to this. He said the first was, the first explanation is that Hashem called him Yaakov, and the other was that it was his father Yitzchak who called him by that name, since he was holding the heel of his brother. In the case of Isav, however, it says, Vaikreu Shmo Isav. Notice here in the text, it doesn't say Vaikra Shemo Isav, it says Vaikreu Shemo Isav. The word Vaikreu is in a plural form. While in the case of Yaakov, it is in the singular form. Although it is, can be understood that uh, Yitzchak, our father, was the one who called him in a special way. But there is another explanation I'd like you to think about. Ve'ikreu shemo isav is speaking about the nations, the gathering of the nation. Vaikreu is a plural. The nations will be gathering against Yaakov. Yaakov Vaikra is one, is chosen as the only son of God. Israel is the son of God. That's why Yaakov's name is Israel. And Chazal said that this is a pictures of the thing to come. The moments when Isav will gather Vaikreu, all the nation will gather against Jerusalem, against Yaakov, who is called as the only son of God, the son of Israel. Now, the Ben Ishai give us another explanation. He says, and I told, another explanation is that Isav was this giving the name because it is related to another word. You see, if you take the Hebrew word Esav and you flip the letter, you get the word Asui, perfected, completed. With regards to his hair, thus Isav got his name, not because of his action that he took, but because of his, his physical appearance. When Esav was born, he had a full set of hair. He was beautiful when he was born. Esav, from the Hebrew word Asui, perfect. While Yaakov was giving his name because of what he was doing doing rather than the way he was uh, looking, holding the ill of his brother, Vaikarash Mo Yaakov, could mean as if he himself, Yaakov, Vaikarash Mo Yaakov. Why? Because he's working, Vaikarash Mo Yaakov. He is laboring, he is working. And why the letter here, the Ben Ishai asked the question, why his name was not Ekev. Why is his name Yaakov? Why was the Yod added to his, to, to his letter? Because the Yod represents the future. Again, it is a prophecy. The Yod equaling in Matria to ten. The Ten Commandments, the Torah. He is grabbing through Isav through the Torah and is able to overcome Isav through the Torah. 
brothers and sisters, this is a prophecy of the things to come. It's not vaikre u shemo, vaikre shemo on a singular level. The biggest sin of Esau was that he fell. He was a su. You get it? It's a, it's a play on word. Esau, a sui, and also. Yeshua, the same word, meaning that there will be those who claim to follow Yeshua, who are actually going to follow Isav, and they are going to look at him and say, we are perfect because of him. Woe to those who view themselves as perfect because of our faith in him. We are not perfect. We are to thrive as Yaakov for perfection. Yaakov, in essence, gave himself his own name. Why? Because he's busy in doing the tikkunim and the avodah of Hashem. And so will you. God bless you. And we wish you all the blessing from above as we see you next week in Rega Beivrit. Shalom, everybody. Thank you.